everyone. I am here to do a tag, a rainbow tag. This is a collab with the group of ladies that I collab with, ladies who collab. Um, and it's a rainbow tag. This is what we decided to do. So it's basically we just choose products that are colors of the rainbow, like red, yellow, da da da, da and talk about whatever products we like or whatever products is that color. Um, first, I was going to say red because I love my hair. It is red. Um, I know it doesn't look like on camera, but it really is red. Like, um, it's like... I use the L'Oreal Farrah, Farrah, um, like, Crush Red or something like that. Um, so it is really red. But another red product I have been loving and just enjoying just because I love Hello Kitty and think it's cute as heck. I mean, it's just this, like, little tin. Um, it has Hello Kitty in it. And then, um, it has little candies in it that, oh, not that I dumped them all out, but I have, like, little red and yellow or white stars. They're all, they're good, but... It's not the candy that I like. It's the actual, like, little, um, tin. Because I freaking love Hello Kitty, um... And actually, believe it or not, I mean, that's pretty secure for a tin. I got this at World Market. So, that's the red product that I really have been enjoying. And then pink would be my Beauty Blender. I have literally fell in love with this. I understand why people like the Beauty Blender now. I mean, I've always liked sponges and stuff. Um, a whole lot. But, uh, the Beauty Blender was something I was like, no, I'm never going to buy that. It's too expensive. I'm not going to spend $20. But I ended up getting the Sephora Favorites Paint and Pink. And it came in this kit. And this kit was $40. And this alone is $20. Uh, the sponge itself. So I didn't think it was a bad deal for getting all this stuff, including the Beauty Blender, which is full size. And you got, like, a full size Laurie Mercier lipstick. Bron a blush, a highlighter, a mascara, a tart blush, a uh, full size Urban Decay, and all that stuff. So that's why I got this. I ended up getting it to try it, and I do love it. Um, so that's the pink product I've been loving. And then the orange and yellow was the hardest because it, those are colors that I don't really have in my makeup collection. I really didn't wanted to do mostly makeup, but I do enjoy this. Uh, this was a limited edition. Um. P palette. I did end up getting this because I don't have any of these shades in my collection and this one's called Broadwalk Boozing and it has yellow and orange and believe it or not these are some really pigmented shadows um you know I mean it's it definitely shows up as yellow and then um this is orange here so they're not fooling around when it comes to the shadows there is that Urban Decay electric palette that I've considered but since I don't um use those products all the time I would never go out and buy it but if you wear those colors all the time that's definitely something you, you know I think is worth the money because this is a limited edition package um so I don't know if they're going to come out with a colorful palette this summer or not because their summer no is that their summer collection I think they already released their summer collection I believe it's the one I've been searching for forever unless I, I don't know whatever so if you can find this or if you want it like the electric palettes close to it and then um, the next color, yellow or green, would be this green shadow. It's an infallible shadow, um, gilded, in no, this is not gilded. This is golden sage. This is a real, I love these shadows. Like, I really, really love the um, L'Oreal infallible shadows for pressed pigment. These are pressed pigments, but they are just really soft. They're very pigmented. I mean, it's just really pretty. That's the color there. Um, I really enjoy this green. If I want a pop of color for green, um, I usually go for a shade like this. I do have one other green that I'm going to share with you. It is in the smoke palette. Um, I don't know if they make this shade anymore because this palette is not available anymore. Um, but this is called, it's called Loaded. It's right there. Um, I did a smoky eye with this. It is so, if you, this is very, it's a darker green. So, um, I do enjoy this shade from this palette, too. This palette is hard for me to wear, because I don't wear a lot of smoked colors, but this green, blue, like, and even asphalt, like, the blackout and the black back door are really the two that I have the hardest with. Um, but I love this palette, because, um, I do like to have this in my collection. I actually ended up getting this on clearance when they discontinued it. Alright, that was green, blue. There is a blue shade in this. I'm sorry, guys. I love Urban Decay, so I'm using Urban Decay shadows. This is the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. Um, this shade in here is called Shattered. It's a very light blue shade. And it's really pretty. I like this shade. 
it's a light, light blue. This, this palette is a little powdery, but um, if I was going to say to buy any shade or buy an Urban Decay naked, or if you were going to buy any shadow from Urban Decay, this one right here called Sin is life. Like, I'm just going to mention this really quickly. I know that has nothing to do with the rainbow tag, but if you can, if you're not wanting to spend the money on Urban Decay palettes and stuff like that, I would just go out and just buy that one shade Sin. I promise you, you will hit pan on it. I have two of them. I've hit pan on one of them. And this other one is in this palette, and you can see how much I like it. Um, I constantly use this shade all the time. In almost every tutorial that I do, or every makeup look I do, it's the shadow. And, again, I am mentioning Urban Decay again. This is my build, my own palette Urban Decay thing, and it has a shadow in here that is life. It is purple. There's two purple shades in here that I like, but the, the other one is really, this one is really, 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 really pretty. Right here, it's Solstice. Um, it is a moon dust shadow, so it is going to be a little bit more expensive, but if you're going to invest in any moon dust shadow, this is it. I mean, this, this swatch does not even give it justice. Um, you have to really see it in person and touch it and swatch it it's beautiful. Um, another shade in this palette that I like that's a purple is this one called Grifter here. I actually ended up buying, it's in the, it's in the Urban Decay palette, uh, uh, ammo palette, so if you already have that, you have that shadow, but I ended up actually liking this shadow so much that I ended up buying a full size. So that tells you right there how much I like it, because normally I do not go out and buy full size Urban Decay shadows. Um, there it is right there. I... Bought this one on sale, but I still ended up buying it because it was full size. I bought the full price for this one. This came in that uh, Sephora Favorites Paint It Pink, and this one I actually bought from someone else. Um, this one's called L uh, Fully. What is this called? Come on. There we go. Oh, Lounge. That's what this one's called. This one is another one that is another green that it's a green brown shift. Um, it has green and Oh, I didn't have to do brown. So this would be kind of a brown shadow that I like. Um, that has a shift in it. And it's brown, reddish, green. I don't know. It's just... I freaking... My eyes are hazel. So I freaking love that shadow. Because it makes my eyes just like really pop. Because it has that like shift of green. Oh, I love Urban Decay shadows. Okay. Now back uh, to uh, brown. I actually showed you that shade. But this is the product I've been liking that's brown. This is the e.l.f. Locket Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Light Brown. It's three bucks. This is great. I love it. It's like the Anastasia whatever cream or pomade. I think it's similar to that. I don't know. I can't compare formulations, but I know it's the same product, same idea, and it's only three bucks. And then, of course, black, which would be mascara. I know the packaging is not black, but the mascara is black. Um, this mascara I have been really loving. It's the Clinique Bottom, Bottom Lash, Lower Lash. It's $10.00. But I will continue to buy this till the day I die because this has freaking made a difference in my life for my lower lash, on my, or for my lower lashes. I really, really, really love this. Like, I, I never thought I would like any, like, higher-end mascara. Um, mostly I, drug, I buy drugstore or I always get samples of, of small higher-end mascaras, but I will continue to buy this because this is the best mascara for your lower lashes that I have tried. I know there is some other ones like Eight Cosmetics, Tight Line, and stuff like that, but this one's only 10 I don't know how much Eight Cosmetics is, and I can get it here where I live instead of, like, having to order it or whatever. So that means I don't have to worry about, like, uh, shipping and stuff like that. Okay, one last color would be multicolored, which that would be a shirt that I have that is multicolor. Um, it's like a poncho. <laughs> I've had this forever. I know it's wild and crazy and uh, it's a poncho-like thing where um, the sleeves, the sleeves start about right here, go like right there, and then same on this side. I've had this shirt forever um, and I probably will keep it forever. It's higher in the front and lower in the back. I usually wear a tank top, a very plain tank top, like a white tank top or black, under this for the summer. I freaking love this shirt. I am a hippie I, I, I feel like I'm a hippie sometimes. I'm stuck in, like, a hippie's body, and I'm, you know, 27 years old. I, I try to dress like a hippie sometimes. But this is just the really, really cute multi shirt. I've had this forever. I don't even know where I got it because I cut the tag out of it. Um, I know that's 
you know, very bright and multicolored, but I really love that shirt. So those all are my favorite colors for the rainbow tag, like from red all the way down to multicolored. So I will see you in my next video. Please do check out the other channels and please check out the other collab, you know, the ladies that I did this collab with. And I'll see you in my next video.